What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be reviewing Udacity's User Experience Designer Nano Degree, otherwise known as the UX Designer. So I actually just graduated from the program the other day, so I figured I'd just give my feedback on it, my overall experience on the actual course, and then if you guys are looking to get into it or you have some questions, hopefully I can share some of my insights to help you figure that out. So here I am on their actual page. So if you haven't seen this beforehand, they pretty much have all the information you need, but I'm sure if you're actually watching this video, you probably have read this quite a few times. Now, I recommend you actually check out the downloaded syllabus and I'm gonna share really quick uh, some questions I had prior to actually joining because uh, some of the stuff I was really confused upon on how to actually accomplish the projects that they state you have to do. But overall, I ended up figuring it out and actually, Got through this course fairly easy, which I'll talk more about later in this video. So if you guys want to make sure you get all the details, make sure you watch this review all the way to the end. And if I did not cover anything, just comment down below and I'll try to get back to you and answer it with the best answer I can possibly can. So here we are on the front page and uh, pretty much this general, just the syllabus, the fundamentals and what's gonna be happening throughout the course. And I'll talk more about that on the actual detail page, but I wanna talk more about like the, the stuff that you can't really get feedback as far as um, just looking at it. That's something that I wanna give more explanation on, unless you actually contact their support too, but sometimes you have to wait a couple of days. But uh, basically this part right here they talk about is one-on-one -on -one technical mentorship. And they have this other option for career coaching that's part of this actual uh, nano degree program. This part and the flexible learning, I mean, that's just there for marketing, but uh go down here let me click on it so basically the syllabus uh, once i get on there i'll show you the projects that you'll have to do in this course and right off the bat i don't know if you ha are watching this and you've taken courses before or you plan on uh just watching this and just enjoying the information because this course is a little different from ones that i've taken i've taken very cheap courses online very famous site i believe udemy has a lot of them then pretty much you know cheap ten dollar courses that you can just watch consume the information but if you're not as motivated and you don't really want to do the projects that they stay in the course there's no reason for you to do them but for udacity especially the nanodegree program they design the course to where it's project based and they build upon each project so if project one builds upon project two to three to four to the final project, which ends up being a capstone or essentially something that you can include in a portfolio to show potential employers or freelance clients, etc. So um, I like that because you literally can't continue the course until you finish the actual project. So I, I'm, I actually try to like watch ahead because um, I don't like to just wait there, but Ideally, it makes more sense to finish the project because most of the content is based off of that project. So if you try to skip ahead, you get confused. And if you're actually in the course already, then you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, pretty much they have this thing for project reviewers. And for me, depending on where you live, it might be different time zones. But pretty much I got a project review, so I'll submit it. And it'd be so quick and so fast. And then they'll tell me if I have to redo it, submit another project, or if I passed it. So typically I've found is whenever I submit a project for this course, I will get, uh, I'll probably do it at nighttime and then I'll wake up and most likely have feedback already, if not earlier. And sometimes I get it, you know, like in two hours so fast, depending on the program. Again, this one is fairly new. By the time I'm filming this, it's only been out for like less than two months. So if you've been in other nano degree programs, like, you know, programming, they probably have much different, um, I guess, uh, working uh, people on there. So they might have different, um, well, let's say uh, like review time speeds, but uh, here for the mentor part, this is basically just somebody to keep you on track on completing the course. I didn't really realize that until I got in. I thought it was more of like a uh, like a UX mentor, but that was my I thought was my assumption when I actually got in here. This was more uh, for uh, at least the way I experienced my mentorship relationship. Again, you would have a different mentor than I did, and it'll be a little different. But based off my experience. Pretty much is just someone that is there to guide you, motivate you to get through the course. And I only had one call with my mentor because I actually figured out how to do all the stuff in the course fairly easy. So if you're on the uh, wondering like how complicated some of the stuff is, again, that de depends on your ex experience and just what you know. I found it fairly easy to follow and do, so I didn't really have much trouble. I did chat in the um, chat with my mentor here and there for a little like additional questions I had, but I didn't actually have to schedule you know, a bunch of Skype calls or um, Zoom calls to face-to-face. -to -face. 
But if you did have that option, you do can um, contact them, schedule a face-to-face -face call, like a video chat every week, and then they can help you out with that. And then there's the personal career coach. So I've only had one call with that so far. And uh, depends on the uh, speed that you finish the course, because they do have the option when you first sign up to have it like right away. And I just clicked not because I didn't really, I didn't really see the need to have, you know, coaching career, uh, like advice. If you haven't even gone to the coach, I mean, the course to see like what you're actually learning. So I at least my opinion, I'll recommend you go through some of the content before you actually set up an appointment with this, uh, career coach, because it just doesn't make sense to set one up if you haven't consumed any of the information. And also depending on your goal, if you're even trying to go into the UX design, UI design field then that would make sense. But if you're trying to do your own thing or you just literally want to learn about UX to an additional thing you're already doing that's not even related, then I mean, it's probably not really uh, necessary for you to even schedule this. And uh, team here, this is the uh, instructors and they are um, some of these are from Google. So they definitely know what they're talking about in regards to the fundamentals of UX. And they pretty much are qualified to teach this. And again, these are just the instructors, but I want to talk more about my experience with the course so that you can actually get a more like in depth of what you're going to expect. Cause again, you can read all this stuff and see it for yourself. So here's actually the syllabus. So if you guys haven't seen this, but uh, let me go up. This is right here, this button, you just click here. I think there's an email, they can email you a detailed syllabus too. I'm not sure it's the exact same thing, but it pretty much tells you everything you need to know. So here, this is the time. So this was big for me because uh, it depends on your situation too. Are you working a job full time? Are you doing uh, something we have a lot of time to do this? Or are you just doing other things to where your schedule is like here and there? So it says here estimation three months at 10 hours a week. So that's about, if you spend two hours for five days, you pretty much are on track to complete this in three months. And this is just their estimation. And this is, uh, again, determining on your experience if time like you're trying to finish this very quickly i'll tell you right up front that you can I actually finish this entire nano degree program in a little under three weeks it was like two and a half or so and i also was on vacation traveling for the holidays during this but i still did some work at the coffee shop here and there so i did i didn't just like spend days where i just didn't do any work so ideally if you do have a lot of time to spend and do note i had prior knowledge before i signed up for this nano degree so that it made it a lot easier for me to complete it quicker. But if you don't have any experience with like softwares, uh, as far as like designing prototypes for like applications or web pages, then that might take a little longer to learn that up front and then complete the projects. But I'll talk more about that later. But ideally, if you're trying to finish this really quickly, you can if you put the work in and as long as your projects get approved fast. Now, again, if you need uh, more time, then obviously I see it's very, very hard to not finish this in three months. To be honest, if you just put in the amount that they say, I mean, you should be able to get through this. And uh, here's like the more in detail, in uh, I'd say more detailed stuff of what you're actually gonna be doing. I can show you the uh, dashboard too uh, on once I get through this. But there's one thing here. So if you're on the fence on this part, this is something I had to ask the support because um, it wasn't clear to me. And it says here you have to do user research. Okay, so UX user experience. You really can't continue with the process unless you're actually getting data and research. And the ideal way is to go through actual interviews with people on the particular project that you are doing. So here it says uh, you will need to run construct questions, need to run a semi-structured user interview and survey study. Okay, so when I'm reading this, I define user interview as like a face-to-face -face sort of conversation. And depending on where you're located, you're probably ideally going to be uh, consuming this course in the comfort of your own home, your apartment, at a coffee shop or whatever it is. But ideally is you're trying to get through this uh, as a solo person, I would assume. If not, I mean, lucky for you, this is gonna be a lot easier for you. But basically is for you to con uh, conduct actual in-person interviews is what I thought it was too. It's gonna be very difficult. So I did reach out to the support and they ended up telling me before I signed up that you can actually contact other students in the uh, student group, which I'll show you guys later in, um, in the video. And you can pretty much schedule face-to-face -face calls, kind of like you watching me, except, except I would be on like a Zoom or a Skype FaceTime call and we'd be interviewing each other on the products that we're working on. And that's an easy way to get the data that you need. It's not biased because you don't know these people. They're from you know all across the world. And it's a lot easier to get a feel for certain things because 
when I actually first started doing research, I I had assumptions. I'm not going to lie. I had assumptions. And I'm sure if you're getting started, you probably have assumptions of what you think people are going to say to your questions. And they end up saying the complete opposite, which is really eye-opening and really cool to see. So as far as the part we're about interviewing, you should be able to get that done pretty easily just by contacting people in the group chat um, for the... Uh, the student group, or if you just have people that happen to fit in the uh, criteria of what you're doing your project on, then you could just connect with your friends or family that happen to fit there as well. So that's something that I was um, curious about before I signed up and I figured out that uh, to solve that is pretty easy. So moving forward, they talk about making a prototype. So you actually get to design a prototype. So low fidelity, high fidelity, all of those terms are gonna be in the course and defined. So if you don't really know the definition yet, don't worry about that. If you end up signing up, you'll figure that out. But uh, basically, low fidelity is like the base model of your prototype, not much detail on it. And you have to actually get someone to test your design first to see any flaws or what they thought about it. So the cool part about this is that you actually get uh, feedback on something you're creating. And it's really cool for me because I had an idea. I was like, oh, this is this is the most simple design. There's no flaws in it. And then all of a sudden I send it out to some people. And the next thing they know it, they say, I'm confused on page two. There's too many choices on there, which I didn't think about at the time. And so it made me change my design, which is pretty cool. And that's like the overall process of what they're trying to get you to do. And real quick on um, UI. So if you're aware of UX, there's also UI. And uh, UI is... They do the foundations of, you know, UI principles in this course. But if you're looking for a program that has like super in-depth details, how to design exactly, you know, pixel spacings, the best fonts, the color palettes, pictures, etc. You're probably not going to be able to find it in this program because, again, this is basically um, this main focus is UX. But they will still give you some resource that you can learn by UI. But in this actual course, you have to go and research additional stuff on Google and just design more stuff yourself if you're trying to be better at the user interface, aka making things look pretty and looking good to the eye. Now, I end up doing like the critical prototype, like I said, and usability testing. And then once you go to the next project, it'll be high fidelity. So that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much the final project. So the high detailed what uh, people would expect to see on the um, actual app store or website. And this is pretty fun here too because. They make you get actual people. There's a software which, if you're already in it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And it pretty much uh, makes people use your application, and they have a recording on their screen to show them what they're actually doing. So I actually did this, and it was pretty cool to see how different people look at your app. So for my app, I had this basic, you know, like I would assume people would go through it just like I thought, and they end up clicking things I'd never even seen before. And I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty cool experience to see that I probably would not have gotten if I were just researching on Google on learning how to do UX or just watching YouTube videos, etc. Again, I'm sure you probably could find resources out there, but overall, the course, the Nano Degree program combines all of the essentials in an easy to follow uh, method. So that's one of the bonuses I'd say about the program and stuff that I really thought was pretty cool because um, if you end up pursuing a career in this, I'd say this is a really good start for you. And then overall ends up being the capstone. So this is like a portfolio section and pretty much everything that you did throughout the uh, entire program, you would end up combining it into making an actual portfolio piece, which you could potentially share on a to a client or, you know, interview recruiter. And it's pretty much like the rundown through it and just some of my thoughts on the overall uh, the syllabus in which I went through myself. And then let's go actually to the, uh, here it is. So you can see I already graduated. So basically, if you've never been on Udacity, th again, this is my first nano degree program too. So I did not know what to expect. I've taken multiple courses beforehand in different um, places. And this one, I'm not going to lie, this was probably the better design course. A lot of the ones I follow, even more expensive courses are just video, video, video. And like, that's it. This one actually, let me see if I can show you something. Let's go here. What they do is they'll show like a little text summary, which is pretty good for you. So you can get like an intro what it's about. Then they show the video and then they quiz you on the thing right after. And then they continue to show more videos. Usually the courses I've joined, it's like video, click next, video, click next. But I think it's pretty cool design. And I, I don't know who designed this, but um, it makes it a lot easier to consume and just makes you want to consume more quicker because uh this could end up being like 20 different tabs per you know section but they made it into like only eight for this section in particular and it's pretty good they summarize everything too so this is just a little layout for it and um yeah i don't know why my laptop's weird now right now so i can't um scroll back up but uh 
this is just pretty much like the typical um, course model stuff here. So really easy to follow. And if you're, you know, have trouble understanding things, it's not, it's very, I would say beginner friendly. So it's easy to understand. I didn't really have any trouble at all with any of the projects. So if you're in case you're like, oh, can I even complete this? You, even if you do have struggling, your mentor, you can just hit out, um, reach out to them too. And then here's the um, student hub over here. And this is pretty much the uh, place if you want to connect with other people in the course. And then also if you were, um, before I graduated, had the projects over here, but since I um, already graduated, they're not here anymore. But you can see like this person already talked about, um, they're doing their project, looking for people to uh, do an interview, like I mentioned earlier. So you already got some replies here. And this was like, I think what, today? They po yesterday they posted. So this is constantly filled with people. You can see all these people in the course right here. I can scroll down too, but um, here's more of like your stuff inside Udacity. So if you already had um, your Nana agreed to, uh, before, then you're probably familiar with this. But overall, the uh, course, the program, I would say if you're actually trying to learn about UX design and you have the financials to afford it, then I would say it's a no-brainer. You can definitely get into it. Now, if you're on the side where you're just like on the fence, financials aren't necessarily the uh, best situation right now for you. Because again, I'm not going to lie, the course is pretty pricey, just depending on the time of year that you decide to get in. So that could be a, I would say, turning away factor depending on where you're from and your financial situation. But that is something to think about for you. I'd probably recommend you look at um, free resources first and then, you know, cheaper courses like, you know, I'm on Udemy, like just simple UX design. But if you just want something structured that has all of the information that you need to get you a foundational um, knowledge of UX design, then definitely the Nagri um, program provides that. But I'll say is that um, if you're looking for something super comprehensive, giving you like crazy in-depth detail, then I'm not going to say it doesn't give you like crazy detail. You ha you still have to do some research on your own, but at least it gives you a very good visual and um, background knowledge of UX design. So in case you are interested in that field or you just want to know it as like an additional skill that's not even related to what you're trying to pursue, then I'd say they actually have everything in there. But again, the price is quite high, but that just depends on your situation too compared to other programs out there. But compared this to some of the boot camps I've seen, the price is actually pretty cheap. But again, they, the boot camps, they have a different criteria and other um, stuff on the syllabus that I can't really comment on here. But either way is overall, you can complete it very quickly. It has, you know, the people who are actually teaching it know what they're talking about. They're qualified to teach it. And overall, it's actually pretty cool because you end up making a full-on prototype. And if you've never done that before, I think that's something that uh, is pretty awesome. And then the last thing is the way it motivates because it motivated me to continue because I kind of felt like a competition with everyone without really competing in a way. So I, I always tried to finish my project as fast as I could. And the products are, have, they have rubric based so that um, it's very difficult to not come. I would say if you end up not uh, having a product, uh, I would say product of uh, project approved, you can see clearly on the rubric what you messed up on. And I had a couple of times I had to resend it in because I was missing something on there, but it's not something super complicated that you would never understand. It's like telling you right exactly what you need to do and then resubmit. So fairly easy to understand. That's my overall thoughts on the actual Nanodegree program. So if you did want to join, I'll include a link down below. It should be the first link in the bio. So you guys can sign up through there and just note that it's my affiliate link. So if you do decide to join under me, I'll receive a small commission and you should be able to get a discount by signing up under me as well. And as far as the price, it will vary depending on what time you're watching this video because again, they'll change the price here and there for testing purposes. But aside from that, if you have any questions that I did not actually go over in this video comment down below i'll try to answer back um as best as i can and also if you just want to connect you're learning about ux design or just wanted to reach out also comment down below we can reach out and connect too so aside from that this ends the video here hope you enjoyed this be sure to give it a like button let me know what you think about the nano degree if you actually were in it or graduated already and aside from that i'll see you later